Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about do tiny swim baits or giant swim baits work better for bass. We're going to put them head to head to the test today so stay tuned. Let's get right into it and determine which one truthfully will be the winner. All right guys so before we get into today's video I do want to mention I am going to be giving away these swim baits from today's video so stay tuned to the end to figure out how you can win those. We're going to be giving away a pack of these mag draft freestyles and a pack of these divine 3.2 and 2.7 swim baits. Um, we're going to go through a whole bunch of swim baits today so real fast to explain the challenge before we jump on the front deck and get started we're going to be a lot of fish catching today hopefully um, we're going to start all the way at the bottom here a divine 2.7 swim bait this thing is absolutely tiny it's a micro micro swim bait we're going to start there and see what we can catch each time we catch a fish we're going to increase the swim bait size until we get all the way up to this not to mention we're fishing for smallmouth bass so we're going to try and catch a smallmouth bass on a six inch mag draft here so we have the divine 2.7 we're going to start with then we're going to go to the 3.2 and then the 3.8 that's going to cap out everything in there increasing by about a half an inch each time then we're going to go to the whale 4.0 the whale 4.5 and then we're gonna to get to the big ones. I have a zoom swimmer that's five inches long. It's a hollow body swim bait. And then if we can always get all the way up there, we're gonna throw the mag draft freestyle and try and catch one on that. So let's get started with the 2.7. All right, so we have a variety of jig heads up here that we're gonna choose from. So we have our regular uh, pulse fish ones there, a couple six cents ones. Uh, it's gonna vary depending on the bait we're throwing just because of the sizes of these baits and how different they are. Um, right here, this is a three 16th six cents finesse swim bait head and this is the 2.7 it's the only swim bait head i have small enough that will fit this bait uh, so that's what we're going to roll with you know i usually like the the pulse fish lures jig head but this one probably doesn't really fit on there very well so that's on there um, i'm literally throwing this on my hair jig rod this thing is the size of my finger like that's crazy so let's start i've actually never fished this bait but we're going to see if it catches any fish bomb that thing way out there on my hair jig rod let that thing sink to the bottom uh let's see what we can get all right so first cast here we're going to see what happens i feel like this one's going to be pretty easy as long as i can keep it on the bottom my problem is i have a 3 16 ounce jig head on this because that's as heavy as i have them um, and i'm fishing in about 12 foot of water so i'm gonna have to reel pretty slow to keep it on the bottom but that swim bait was pretty soft so i'm thinking it might have just enough tail kick even swimming that slowly um, that we can still get us a bite here and catch a fish and also like finesse is usually easier than bigger baits just because why would a fish turn down a tiny little minnow like that if it swims right in front of his face so I'm sure it'll take a couple casts it won't be easy but I think this one will be easier than maybe the six inch mag draft but we'll see um, I know some of these baits are going to be easier than others I've fished here before so I know what they like to eat the 3.2 3.8 those should be like cake but who knows? We'll see which baits actually give us trouble and uh, which swim bait's the ultimate winner. Oh, that was a fish. Ugh. I missed him. I thought I was snagged on the bottom and then I felt his head shaking. It was the first bite I had on it. Let's see if we can get him to come back again. I slowed my reel down that time and like really tried to keep it on the bottom. I think that's gonna be my biggest problem with this bait is like actually keeping it on the bottom. But I think we're gonna get one. There we go. Got one. He's little, but he counts. Come on, buddy. I need you. Ugh. Got him. Okay. That one counts. They absolutely choked on that mini one, though. Maybe they like it because it's a smaller profile, or maybe it was just easier for him to eat. Don't really know. But that is number one, and that's one on the 2.7. So we're on to the next one. Okay. Up next is the 3.2, my absolute favorite. This one is going to be cake. I have a feeling. Um, have that rigged up on the Pulse Fish Lures jig head. We're back to our quarter ounce now. And we're going with a bait caster, so we got a little bit more oomph for them. Uh, maybe we'll catch a bigger fish, but throw that one out there. See if we can get one on this. I think this one will stay on the bottom a little bit easier. It shouldn't be as hard to catch one as it was for that 2.7. Uh, that one was actually a little bit difficult to catch a fish. 
I thought it would be much easier than that, but it was not. So let's see if this is any easier. There we go. That's a big one. That's a much bigger one. That thing annihilated that. Oh my gosh, it hit it so hard. I don't know if this is a bass. It is a bass. He's just fighting really hard. He's not even that big. All right, come here, buddy. Ugh. Got that one. Check mark 3.2. That one was much easier. Took maybe three casts. Um, he is fat, but he was barely hooked, so I don't know if that's a difference of the smaller bait versus the bigger bait, but we'll find out because we're gonna go to an even bigger bait. All right, so we're gonna bump it up to the 3.8 here. We're gonna go ahead and grab one first. I, oh, I have, a, I have an electric shad one in 3.8 right here. So we'll grab one of these. These ones are significantly, it might not seem like it, but a half an inch makes a big difference in these swim baits. They're significantly bigger than those 3.2s. And the other thing to note about the 3.8s is they're not as soft. So um, there's more plastic, more bulk. So they don't swim as easily at slower speeds. So I'm hoping that won't affect my ability to catch a fish here because I got to reel this bait pretty slow to keep it down there where the fish are. But let's get this guy rigged up and then we'll find out. I'm just gonna throw him up on the, the hook keeper there, and then I'm just gonna spin it around a bunch of times. Get him on there. And then this will be the last swim bait if we knock this one out here. One of the Divine series, and two, that we'll be able to fish on this jig head because they're gonna get a little too big for this jig head after this one, so we're gonna have to up our, up our game again. Get that one out there. All right, we took a short little break because we were not catching anything on this 3.8. Um, I fished with it for probably an hour and caught zero fish, which is shocking. Um, you wouldn't think that they would eat the 3.2 in three casts, but the 3.8 would take that much longer, but it did. Um, so we took a quick little break, ate some lunch, filmed some other videos, got some other stuff done, and now we're back on the swim bait challenge. We're hoping maybe they haven't seen a swim bait in a few hours. Maybe they'll start biting it again. It seemed that they really wanted the swim bait. It's just getting them to bite or finding them. I'm not really sure what's going on today. They are a little tough, um, but we'll go back with this 3.8 and we're gonna see if we can knock a couple more swim baits off the list here and keep getting this swim bait challenge done and see what's better. There we go. Finally, come in this boat before I lose you. You are tiny, but I do not care. Come here. Oh, that took forever. I don't know why they did not like that 3.8, but they did not. But we got them. That's number three. We only have the whale 4.0, 4.5, the zoom swimmer, and then the big boy mag draft left. So we're gonna have to change up jig heads here. So we're gonna go to a quarter ounce. This is a six cents divine swim bait head. And we're gonna find us a whale 4.0. We're gonna try and catch us another one. Hopefully it works a little bit better. I don't know that swim bait. Um, it, like I said, it's much stiffer than the 3.2s for whatever reason. So I don't know if that was just the only reason that they weren't biting that or what the deal was, but we'll see what we can do here. Let me see if I have a, you know what? I might not even have a 4.0. I'm all out of 4.0s, so we're going straight for the 4.5. Three swim baits left. That one was the easiest one yet. I didn't even have to catch a fish. I just didn't have to have it. I have caught them on the 4.5 here before, and I think it's because of how wide this bait is. It's still soft, but it has like a head wiggle to it. So I know this should probably work if there's fish down there that are willing to eat this thing is a different story, but I have caught them on this. And you would think we're getting up there in size, like there's no way that a smallmouth could eat this bait. 
you'd be surprised how big of a smallmouth could eat this bait. The little baby ones. That one that I just caught probably would also bite this bait if he really wanted to. So let's get it out there and see what happens. There we go. Oh my gosh, he destroyed that. Oh, oh, that was the hardest bite. That was my second cast with that thing. Hardest bite I've had so far. I mean, he absolutely ripped the rod out of my hand. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, he's fighting like crazy. Is this a big one? What is happening here? Oh, it's a tank. Okay. Okay. That's why it hits so hard. Oh. Okay. That's why it bit so hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. So far, I'm giving it to the big swim baits now. I mean, that thing ripped the rod out of my hand and is massive. We're gonna weigh that one. How much do we think that one weighs? I know I caught more fish so far on the micro swim baits, so to say, because I caught three on all the, the baits that were under four inches, but that one bite was so much more worth it than those other ones were. Like that one I just caught on the 3.8 was micro. That's a four and a half pounder. That was so awesome. Well, I guess on to the Zoom Swimmer. I actually bought these for Pickwick Lake one time. I've never thrown them. Um, they are five inch Zoom Swimmer, Tennessee Shad. It's bigger than what I have on. Um, so that's the only reason we're throwing it is just to claim we fished another size swim bait. How do, how do I get this open? So, I mean, really it's not much of a difference. Half inch. It's thinner. I'm honestly gonna put it on the same hook just because, why not? But if a giant just ate that one, I don't see why a giant wouldn't eat this one as well. So I'm gonna get this dude rigged up here um, with this screw lock keeper. This is a hollow body swim bait, but it's got a solid head. So it should fit on here nicely. I'm just gonna go ahead and thread her right up on. I'm crooked. Crooked as can be. I do not want that. One thing with your swim bait, you never want to be crooked on a swim bait. You want that thing as straight as possible. It's going to give you the best action. If you have it crooked, it might not even swim straight. So twist this guy on here a whole bunch of times. I'm hoping this will work. This is a fat swim bait. And if this works, then we got to throw the mag draft. It's on there. I don't know what it looks like. Let's find out what it looks like in the water. That was the hardest. I cannot describe to you how hard that bite was. Like I've had some good swim bait bites. I fish the mag draft a lot in the springtime. Oh, this looks incredible. Um, I fished the mag draft a lot in the springtime and I've had some good bites throwing the mag draft, but like, oh my gosh, that thing was, ah, I'm gonna dream about that bite tonight. This is insane. It's another tank. This might be easier than the little ones. I think it's another tank. That was literally my first cast. Oh my gosh, it's one of the bigger ones I've caught today. Come here, dude. That is awesome. This is so cool. I'm, I am like shaking right now. These bites are amazing. I fished this spot all day, throwing those little micro swim baits. Look at that thing. I mean, it is gone down his mouth. That small mouth is not even that big. And it just ate that entire thing? Like, that's crazy. Look at that. He ate all of that. Feeding up for the fall or the winter. We're gonna throw him on the scale and it's mag draft time. And I think I'm gonna get one to bite it. I've been dragging Ned rigs around all day and stuff, trying to get them to bite that because I think they wouldn't bite this, this stuff or they didn't want a moving bait. I throw these giant swim baits on there and back-to-back -back casts catch enormous fish. All right, this is a 3 8 ounce Divine Swim Bait Head. This has a five odd hook. This is literally the biggest jig head that I have. Um, I might have to dig through my box and see if I have something bigger if this doesn't fit, but we're gonna see if we can get that mag draft to fit on there. So this is what we got right here. 
And my only concern with this is my jig head is not big enough, although that jig head doesn't sit too far back in that one. My concern is my jig head's not big enough and I'm not gonna get a good hook set, but I think that looks right. So I'm gonna thread him on there just like we did everything else. My only difference here is that this is a white swim bait, but I do have these in other colors, I think. So if for some reason we don't get a bite on this, I might grab me another color out of the box just to see. For some reason they might like the natural more. This is about to be, if I catch one on this, oh my gosh, because this is gonna be fun. And the bite is going to be something fierce. All right, so that hook, Kind of sits back in there, but we'll see what happens. All right, we're throwing a massive swim bait for smallmouth bass now. Let's get that thing out there. Oh my gosh. It's like throwing a brick. Got one. Got one on the mag draft. Oh yeah. I can't believe it. He's swimming right at me. He's not even big. This is insane. He's not even big. He's the smallest one that I've caught so far. He's tiny. That's crazy. That is crazy. Ate the whole thing, smallest one, besides the 3.8 fish. And he absolutely choked on the mag draft. They just like the bigger baits, I guess. I don't know. I mean, okay, so for the point of the challenge, I'm giving it to the big baits. That was my third cast again with the mag draft. So I'm giving it to the big baits on this one. Um, but. This is way too much fun to let it go to waste. So I'm gonna keep throwing this and see if we can get us another one or two on the, I'm just gonna keep throwing the giant one now and I'm gonna see what we can do with a absolute massive swim bait on smallmouth. Ah, we lost it. Unfortunately, as hot as that bite was, it died pretty quick and we just lost our bait right there. Um, and I need to save a pack for you guys to give away. So I'm not gonna tie another one on here. That's actually gonna do it for today's video. I am going to say that Magnum swim baits are the way to go, rather than the little baby ones, especially in the fall. Um, if you want to win those swim baits, I'm actually gonna throw in a pack of those Zoom swimmers as well. So it'll be Magdraft Freestyle Zoom Swimmer and a pack of the 2.7 Divines. If you wanna win that, you gotta go down below, be subscribed, like the video and comment anything you'd like to see in the future for me to make, whether it's a type of bait challenge, fishing how-to video, whatever you wanna see me do, comment that down below and I'll pick a random comment in two weeks from the post date of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see a video talking about how to fish the finesse swim bait, which is also one of my favorites for smallmouth bass, check that one out right there. And thanks for watching.